Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you all of the books I want to read this fall. That's pretty much it. I don't read a whole lot, so there's not going to be like 30 books here. We're going to start off with a book that I'm actually in the middle of. It is September, so I do count it as fall kind of now. I'm saying this book is what I want to read in the fall. <laughs> So this is The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. It is a part of the Twilight Saga. It's just a little novella, kind of a short little story about one of the other vampires who has a very short second life as a vampire. So next I have Hush Hush. I have every book in this series, which there's four. I actually can't quite remember what this is about. I think he's just like a, a guardian angel. And it's based on like the book is from the point of view of a girl, like the main character. He's the guardian angel. And then it's just like a romance, but with also like fantasy, I think. I can't really remember. I got this book quite a while ago, but I didn't want to read it until I had all the other books. And now I do. So I'm going to start. And then second in the series is Crescendo. This is the second one, which I also want to read the second one. So I want to read the whole series. Um, <laughs> the fourth one is Silence. And then the fifth one is Finale. So all these books I want to read together. Next is a book that was very popular for quite a while on TikTok. And I got it like last Christmas and I still haven't read it because I do want to get the second and third book to it is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I do want to get the second and third book before I read it but I don't really know if I'll get the chance unless I order them on Amazon so we'll see how that goes. They all go to detention I think. One of them dies. Yes, that literally is what it says at the very top. Um, next is The Silent Patient by Alex. Uh, guys, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, so if you want to look it up, there. But if you look up The Silent Patient, this book will pop up. But yes, The Silent Patient, because it sounds a little creepy. She murders her husband or something, and then she won't talk about it. Like, she just won't speak anymore. Husband comes home, she shoots him five times in the face, and then she goes to a, like a psych ward, a psychiatric unit, and just stops talking. Next um, is Girls Like Us by Christina Alger. I don't know what this book is about, my mom bought it for me, so yes. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the front. Um, and it says, FBI agent Nell Flynn hasn't been home in 10 years. Nell and her father, homicide detective Martin Flynn, have never had much of a relationship. In, in Suffolk County will always be a wash in memories of her mother, Marisol, who was brutally murdered when Nell was just seven. When Martin dies in a motorcycle accident, Nell returns to the house where she grew up so that she can spread her father's ashes and close his estate. At the behest of, behest of her father's partner, Detective Lee Davis, Nell becomes involved in an investigation into the murders of two young women in Suffolk County. The further Nell digs, the more likely it seems to her that her father should be the prime suspect, and that his friends on the police force are covering his tracks. Plagued by doubts about her mother's murder and her own role in exonerating her father in that case, Nell can't help but ask questions about who killed the two women and why, but she may not like the answers she finds, not just about those she loves, but about herself. You know, I'm not super big on people, like, finding themselves in books. You know, like, I really don't care. <laughs> so, like, that last line, I'm just gonna completely ignore it. And last book of the day is... The Library at Mount Char? Char? Chair? Share? You correct me, please. By Scott Hawkins. I can't remember what this is about either, so I'll read it. Carolyn's not so different from other people around her. She likes guacamole and cigarettes and steak. She knows how to use a phone. Clothes are a bit tricky, but everyone says nice things about her outfit with the Christmas sweater over the gold bicycle shorts. After all, she was a normal American herself once. That was a long time ago, of course, before her parents died. Before she and the others were taken in by the man they called Father. In the years since then, Carolyn hasn't had a chance to get out much. 
Instead, she and her adopted siblings have been raised according to her father's ancient customs. They've studied the books in his library and learned some of the secrets of his power, and sometimes they've wondered if their cruel tutor might secretly be God. Now, father is missing, perhaps even dead, and his library stands unguarded. Whoever claims it will also inherit absolute power over life, death, and all of creation. As Caroline gathers the tools she needs for the battle to come, fierce competitors for this prize align against her, all of them with powers that far exceed her own. But Caroline has accounted for this, and Caroline has a plan. The only trouble is that in the war to make a new god, she's forgotten to protect the things that make her human. We'll see. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Just like a fight over a crap ton of powers, <laughs> basically. Like Wizards of Waverly Place. That's what I'm thinking. Wizards of Waverly Place. And those are all of the books I want to read this fall. Let me know what ones you guys have read and what, what you think about them. And also correct me on names, please. Thank you. Because I'm so bad at pronouncing people's names unless it's like the most basic name. I need to hook them up for a thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you would like to see next. More book videos are to come. Comment what books you want to read this fall. And subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!